same ones like, are in there all working? In the last week or two of their life, they come out and they collect honey. The young bees are used to work in the hive. And it makes a lot of sense because they don't want to risk a nice healthy bee going out and flying around. So that's really dangerous for bees. They get eaten by birds and everything else. So you guys want me to open it up? Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me just explain just real quick before we do this. Bees live in what we call the brood box. This one here and this one here. These boxes are where they build honey. And we use what's called a queen excluder to keep them. We use what's called a queen excluder to keep them from the queen from going up in here and laying eggs. So when I open this, you won't see any eggs. You just see honey. And when I just kind of keep that going. What's I, burning in there? I have a piece of burlap. Oh, okay. And an old tax bill. <laughs> <laughs> Good use for it. <laughs> so, why don't you come over here and spray it on right in there? Mm -hmm. so that, you'll see the bees start to react to it very quickly. See them go? So they can smell that stuff and they know they're coming. Now normally do you want to work bees when there's less wind or more? Just generally. You want to work them in the middle of the day, which are both of them are out flying around. Right. Calm, sunny, that's the best time. Over 50,000. Holy oh, smokes. Really, really hard to count. <laughs> but no, people estimate it by weighing them. That's how they tell. They know how many bees are in an ounce, so then they know how many are in a pound, so they know how many. And they estimate about 50,000 and more in a hive. But 50,000 is about the, the minimal number for a strong hive. So yeah. generally, is it best if you stand to the side of the beehive or behind it? Yeah, because they're always flying in and out. So when you mess up their runway, they kind of have to yeah, go around you. Looking at this right now, there's like a swarm of bees on the right ground there. over there. Yeah, because they're like, hey, you're in the way. Now, see how many bees are in here? And these are all bees making honey, making comb. They're kind of a light color. Why is that bee. one pretty big? Got the drone. That's the that drone. one right there has no stinger. Going down. That's but yep, cool. that's a drone. There's a couple of them around I saw today earlier. Uh, two weeks ago there were no drones. So they're just starting to make some drones. I'm going to show you what a clean excluder looks like. So this thing's kind of heavy. It's got a lot of honey in it. We're already making honey this year. Really, really early for honey. Oh, so the little screen on here is what keeps the queen from coming up? Yep, she's just a little bit too fat to fit through it. <laughs> um, and she won't come up. There's other ways to do it where the queens don't like to cross what they call the honey line. So if you can manage it where you build up all honey here and make the queen go down, she won't come back up past it. But it's a little less accurate. Now there's a drone right here. His yeah. eyes looked a lot bigger or something. They're huge because they had to be able to find the queen in the air. Oh, okay. When the queen is born, she'll fly off to a certain spot that the bees all know about. And she flies around in circles. Is this one right here? That's another drone, yeah. With yep. those big eyes on there? Yep, big eyes and they have a furry butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and those drones from all the different hives will fly around or find a queen and they actually mate in midair. And then they die. They're killed immediately. Queen rips them in half. Really? Really? Right after mating. Yep. <laughs> Ladies yeah. rule. Yeah. Guys don't have a good good time in a beehive. Um, exactly. And I, I think that's why I get stung yeah. a lot more too. <laughs> and then see that that's a drone. So if you ever saw a drone, you either out trying to look for a queen or you just got kicked out of the hive. You see them a lot in the fall when they Wait, kick them out. Why there. would you why would uh, cool. the queen want to kill the guy one? After they mate with them? Yeah. Because they're useful. They, they don't do anything for the hive. And all these are concerned about is the hive. They're not concerned about themselves or each other. They're concerned about the whole hive working good. So, so it's all 